Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the great millstone. Peace and salutations to the Akim, out on the four corners, teaching the truth and sincerity. You know, uh, the water, the water, the water for, for the for the work that y'all put in through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, uh, I, I was meditating today, you know, over some uh, things that are you know, occurring in today's society. <laughs> and it, 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 it shows more and more, you know, uh, we are, we are literally in the midst of our captivity, you know, that, that this is hell. Okay. So we're just going to jump straight into the scriptures, you know, cause that's the only place where we find peace, you know? Uh, so Baba Kusha, uh, could, could you pull that? Which one did you want, bro? The, the Hebrews, uh, 13, uh, um, no, no continuous city. Gone. This is Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 14. It says, for here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. You know, here, here in Babylon the Great, you know, in the midst of our captivity, all right, we don't belong here. Okay. We only, we are only here because we transgressed. We uh, went against our power, you know, uh, and like spiritually, you know, we have to come back to, you know, at the, 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 the law, statutes, and commandments, you know, to uh, get back in good favor of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But, Baba Kushai. Khan, this is uh, Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Oh. It says, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from Yahabashim Yahushai. And that shows that, you know, uh, whenever we went into captivity, you know, it wasn't just the ones that did, you know, bad. It was all of Israel. So it shows that all of these other nations that has had us in in possession are going to go into captivity as well all right because uh that's how you how bashim Shai set it up okay he did it, it it doesn't matter if some of y'all were doing righteously all of y'all are going to get the same punishment okay Baba uh that was it on that Come um, on. i'm gonna read hebrews 13 and 14 again in nlt Hebrews 13 and 14 in the NLT, it says, For this world is not our permanent home. We are looking forward to a home yet to come. And that home yet to come is the kingdom where Yashur Allah, you know, he, prince of the power, which consists of your so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans of Negroid descent. All right. Y'all have a kingdom to come. All right. Right now we're in the midst of our hell. Well, in the midst of our folly. All right, because Jake is still doing folly <laughs> here. You know, they they perceive that, you know, uh, salvation is not going to come. All right. And and that's far from the truth, because we know uh, here at GMS, you know, that our kingdom to come is whenever Yahweh Shimi al Shai delivers us from the captivity that we're in. OK. But saying that. And seeing what this world is, man, you know, we, we, we are seeing men following women, you know, women that are, you know, dykes following effeminate men, you know, so, so the effeminate man is the woman and the dykes the man. We are in an ass backwards society, bro. How about Shimei al Shai didn't, didn't make this so, man. And, and this shit can't be so, Okay. Esau has turned the ways upside down. You know, that, that good is evil and, and evil is good. Loosely paraphrasing. You know, but Baba Kusha, Salaki. What do you want to get next? Uh, if, if you have a precept. Crying. We can get uh, second as we're 16. Baba Kusha. <clears throat> you know, because cause it, being, being in captivity... You know, uh, watching these things come to pass, this is vexing. You know, th this is vexing 
seeing, you know, uh, a, a so-called Issacarite, you know, or a Mexican. Well, most of these motherfuckers are Mexican because they don't, they haven't earned, <laughs> you know, the, the mental fortitude from the Alba Shimmy Al Shai to be called, you know, by their righteous righteous name. But Salaki. Like Khan, this is uh second Ezra chapter sixteen. And um I'll start at verse forty. It says, O oh, my people, hear my word and make you ready to thy bat make you ready to thy battle, and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. See? We have to be as pilgrims on the earth, getting ready for the battle to come. And the battle starts in your mind. All right. The battle starts with with you, you know, for one, purging, uh, using Yahweh Bashemel Ashai to purge out the demons in yourself. You know, see, because first you got to take the beam at, out of your own eyes before you can, you know, uh, take it out of somebody else. You know, so you have to. Uh, uh, pray and fast to Yahweh Shimon Shai to depart from the evil ways of this society. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get this real quick. This is uh, Ephesians chapter six and verse ten, because you had made the point of, uh, about basically, you know, getting your mind right. You know, being that we're in a spiritual uh, war, we're in a battle. Okay. This is uh, Ephesians chapter six and verse ten. It says, "Finally, my brethren, be, be strong, strong in the Lord." And in the power of his might, put on the whole armor of Yahweh Shai, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. And again, this armor that it's talking about is not physical, okay, literal armor. You know, really the armor is going into your mentality. You know, and uh, first and foremost, we're operating under the mentality of, uh, of faith. You know, first and foremost. You know, and that makes me think about uh, David, you know, before he fought uh, Goliath. Huh. You know, he sat that, uh, <laughs> the carnal armor to the side, you know, uh, I believe it what was the, the sword. He had the sword, and the, the, uh, the breastplate. Right, the different things that he was given to go against Goliath. The helmet. He knew that he didn't need them because he had already fortified uh, his mind. Huh. He was already ready uh, in the spirit, <clears throat> you know. But this is uh, verse 12. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So, again, that's why you don't need physical armor. The physical armor ain't going to do shit. <laughs> the armor, the defense that we need, okay, is a spiritual, you know, uh, armor. Okay, it's the, the wisdom, you know, scriptures like in you know, a wisdom to a defense, huh. you know, but faith is a defense, too. You know, all these different things that we've been given, right? They're uh, defense mechanisms against uh, these, uh, these, these, uh, the wicked one, Esau. Uh -oh. This verse 13, it says, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh Shai, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. All right, and we're, we're getting ready to enter in um, to that evil day. You know, we already are in some uh, evil you know, diabolical times, but we're not, we have not fully entered into Jacob's trouble yet. We are still on the, uh, prefaces, the, right. The, the prefit, the preface. Yeah, the, we're the, in the beginning the stages, right? We're in the beginning of stages of Jacob's trouble, but shit is getting ready to pick up on a whole nother level. Uh, you know, that's that straight gate, you know, that we're, uh, preparing for. Uh, because it shows in this society how, how, you know, if if you really want to stay here, what can you stand on? Like, like nothing is yours. Like, your children ain't yours because you signed them over to the government. You know, your woman's not yours. Your house ain't yours. Your car ain't yours. What what more do you have? You have nothing else except servitude. Okay, that that, that that's nothing of of worth. So you're fighting to to be put back into captivity. All right. At, at the at the end of the day, you know. But uh, Baba Kusha, it, are you are you done with that? Yeah, that was it on Ephesians. Baba Kusha, could you pull that uh, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, five and fifteen, because it it it, it shows that that army that's, that 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 armor that you was talking about, 
was of faith, you know, that and that's given unto you from your by Shimei Al Shai whenever you diligently seek him, okay? Because you know, the, the righteous will find it out. But Bible Kusha, what verse did you want? Uh, 15. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 15 it says, But the righteous live forevermore, their reward also is with the Lord, and the care of them is with the Most High. See, the care of them is with the Hal by Shimei Al Shai because he he. Gave you the army, uh, well, Salaki, he gave you the army of angels that surrounded you. One, two, he gave you the armor as well. He gave you the sword, he gave you the spirit. You know, he gave you everything that you needed to continue on in faith, you know, and in, in serving him. Continue yep. on, Baba Kushan. Yep, if I may, one of the titles of the Most High is the, uh, the Lord of Hosts. Yep. You know, and when you read uh, 2 Timothy. You know, the second chapter, for example, we're liking on the soldiers, you know. So, again, just like in, you know, uh, Esau's military or any of the militaries, you know, uh, in past civilizations, anytime you go to war, it's your commanding officer's job to give you, you know, the necessary uh, things you need uh, to succeed on the battlefield. Y'all about Shimei al didn't just send us out here, you know, naked, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, just to uh, fend for ourselves. No. You know, he sent, first and foremost, he sent Yahweh Shai, all right? And he equipped us with the things that are necessary to get the victory, which you is, know? But we have to have faith. Which is the spirit. Right. Then then he sent the elders and apostles, yep. you know? So every step of the way was just another uh, piece of armor yep. that, you know, uh, uh, made you whole right? to survive Jacob's struggle, all right? Uh I believe there's one more verse. Con, verse, Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 16. It says, Therefore shall they receive a glorious kingdom and a beautiful crown from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. And that's Yahweh by Shimei al Shai, is the right arm of Yahweh by Shimei al Shai. Uh, the, the, the hand, you know, well, Salaki, that's the power of Yahweh by Shimei al Shai, which is the right hand. And arm because he will defend us. All right, he's going to defend us from all this bullshit and hell that's around us. But also he will he will fight back because it's not up to us to fight. It's, it's up to him to protect us. But um, there's another one um, that uh, Sirach, uh 34 and um, 16. Sixteen. Huh. This is uh, Sirach chapter 34 and verse 16. It says, For the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Shai are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and strong stay, a defense from the heat, and a cover from the sun at noon, and a preservation from stumbling and a help from falling. So we got to break that down. Yeah. <laughs> Shai. Can you start at 16 again? Kind. It says, for the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. So it says in uh, Sirach chapter, um, I think it's uh, uh, 23 and 14, about how Yahweh by Shimei al Shai's eyes is 10,000 times more brighter than the sun. You know, so he he sees all things. The angels. You know, and, and then the angels as as well. You know, they, they're all, you know, there for our protection, you know, to to uh see the things that we're doing you know to to count to see if it's uh, righteous and to see the things that esau and these other nations are doing to to keep us you know from from standing up precept psalms 34 and uh, 7 right. it says the oh, angel oh, of yahweh oh, shimei oh, shai encampeth round about them that fear fear him and delivereth him them you know, so you how about Shimei you know, is is our defense. He's our brazen wall, you know, to defend us from from all said evil and perils. Okay, but he does test us as well. So he'll he'll allow things to happen to to test your faith. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, Sirach thirty four and sixteen. It says, for the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and strong stay, 
a defense from the heat and a cover from the sun at noon. You know, because it, that 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 heat from the sun at noon, you know, that's that that's that blistering. You can't hide. There's there's no shade. All right, and and we are all looking for a shaded tree. You know, from the from from that intense heat. You know, and Yahweh by Shemuel Shai is that you know shade. He's that protection. Yep, I got another precept. Cun, Just proving what you're saying. This is Psalms 91 and 1. Cun, it says, get that. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And the key word in that is shadow. shadow. You know, that literally, that is a direct precept that you can link up with that Sirach 34 because it likens the protection unto a, basically a, a shadow from the heat. You know, because again, the heat represents for the most part, you know, Danger. Danger and destruction. Danger and destruction. You know, even Jake in the world got a saying, you know, the block is hot. Yeah. You know, the block is hot, meaning, you know, it's very dangerous, you know, uh, circumstances. But again, we have unseen forces. We have the angels, you know, uh, watching at all times. Again, we just read that they encampeth around uh, those that fear him. Right. You know? But uh, go back to that. Um, yeah, that one. Verse 17. Turn about Bishai. It says, I'm going to read verse 16 again. It says, For the eyes of the Lord are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and strong stay, a defense from the heat, and a cover from the sun at noon, <laughs> when it's most dangerous. Yep, when it's most dangerous. Yeah, when the sun is uh, high, at its highest High noon. Point. Yeah. And that's the times we're coming into. When the scriptures talk about Esau coming down with great wrath, yeah. that's, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the worst times in human history, the most dangerous times in human history. And Koholoyim Laya how by Shemiah shot for that because that's what we need to get out of this fight as well. Yeah. So it is a double edged sword as well. But Baba Kushai. God, it says, and a cover from the sun at noon, and a preservation from stumbling, and then help from following. From falling. From, from falling. All right. Because was that a righteous man falleth seven times, but he gets back up? How does he get back up? Off his faith. Yeah, all right, and faith is something that is given to you from me. How about Shimei on Shai? It all links up. It's all it's, it's, it's all one. All right, because it says without faith, it's impossible to please him. All right, it's impossible to please you. How about Shimei on Shai without knowing that, knowing and believing that he is. Okay, <laughs> and that's the only way that he can defend you is by you trusting in him. All right, verse seventeen. Uh, Baba Kushai. So rock 34 and 17, he raiseth up the soul and lighteneth the eyes. He giveth health, life, and blessing. So he he's going to rejuvenate you, you know, in order for you to continue on. All right, what's that? We are renewed day by day. Loosely paraphrasing. Mm. You know, because it's through your how about Shimmy Al Shai that wakes you up in the morning. It's through your how about Shimmy Al Shai that you even go to sleep. And, and that's hard to even fall asleep without, you know, because your mind's always racing. It's always, you know, uh, uh, sensing danger because this is dangerous times that we're in. All right. But if you have hope and you, you, you pray to how about Shimei you know, to, to, to be that covering, you know, you will be covered. Bob, you got a right, Can I get the scripture you quoted? Second Corinthians four and sixteen in the NLT, it says that is why we never give up, though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. Every day, every day that we get up, that's another day that we can, you know, hope for forgiveness for, for the sins that we have done, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, uh, hope not to commit those same things in the future in to, to come. And hope for salvation out of Babylon the Great. Okay? Can I read the next couple verses on Come, this? Come It says, verse 17, For our present troubles are small and won't last very long, yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I mean, that's it, bro. I mean, you can't get too caught up on the hell. I mean, it's hard. You know, we're in it. We catching hell. We gonna catch more hell, but at the end of the day, Yahweh Shimei Al Shai is producing something far beyond what we can even uh, comprehend. Ooh. You know, the spirit, the spirit. I mean, 
like <laughs> the scriptures talk about us being his uh, his workmanship. Right. You know, we are all projects, if you will, of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. Your hell that you're catching is custom made just for you, for you, just, just for so that you. he can. He, there's something uh, that he's working out in you that he and, wants to use in the, the kingdom. And know? Baba Kushai, just to say, the same hell that he put you in, he always made a way for you to get out of it. He always made a way for you to get out of it. So Baba Kushai, you can um. There's one more verse on oh, this. Oh, Khan Saki. Khan. It says uh, verse 18. It says, so we don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on the things that cannot be seen. Mm. And man, that's that's it, man. Because again, when case in point, you know, uh, <laughs> I, this is the best example I could give. You know, when an animal, you know, like a butterfly, for example, <laughs> when a butterfly is changing into when it's going from a caterpillar to a cocoon to a butterfly. It really don't know what the hell is going on. Mm -mm. All it know is that I gotta some <laughs> some is changing. Something ain't right. But yeah. it can't. It's not like it can see itself. <laughs> so it don't even know that it's becoming, you know, uh, it's next going to its next level. It's glory to glory. Yeah. You know. So same thing for for all the Akim. You know, we have to have faith in what Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is doing. Let me finish this verse, Slaki. It says, "For the things we see now will soon be gone." But the things we cannot see will last forever. Last forever. And how about Shemiel you know, Shai has made it to where, you know, and and that's how he's far exceeding in all things that he do. Because we don't know what his next move is. We just know that it's going to move. Okay, Baba Kusha, get that uh, Sirach, um 43 and 30. Because... You just need to stop and let Yahweh Shai, let Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai work, man. All right? Because, like, the spirit, the spirit that is going out, I mean, I know we're in hell. I know we're going through all kinds of, you know, bullshit. We're seeing, like, disgusting shit on a daily basis, man. Yep. Like, you know, and, and every step of life. But and it's going to get worse. It's, it's about to, to get worse, bro. Say, that shall wax worse and worse. Who? You know, you got to slack at me. Nah, nah, nah. But you know, with with that, you know, we also know that our powers, you know, work in a perfect work yeah. in us, through us, and around us at the same time. Mm -hmm. So, Baba Kusha. Sirach so chapter forty-three and verse thirty. It says, "When you glorify Yahweh Bashim Shai, exalt him as much as you can." For even yet, he will far exceed. You know, he's going to far exceed. He's going to do, you know, a, a, a hundred million times better than you ever thought. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, hey, know that your salvation is already guaranteed. You just have to, you know, wait upon him. Yep. Yeah. That's why the scriptures talk about, for ear has not heard. Yep. For eye has, has not, not seen, seen, you know, what the Most High basically has prepared for us. Because the kingdom is going to be so far out, it's beyond anything that we can even comprehend in these bodies in our current, you know, <laughs> mind. We can't comprehend it. We can't. And it's, the crazy it's part is, like it, so like it. No, no, you got it. The crazy part is, Jake thinks that Esau, Jake thinks that this kingdom is the end all be all. Jake thinks that this shit is, is the greatest shit to ever grace the planet. When you had ancient civilizations that blew this shit out of the water. Bro, <laughs> bro, like, like real shit. Egypt? 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 Egypt yep. was doing a hell of a lot, and that was before the Roman, the Greco-Roman, yep. yep. before the Babylonian. Right. Hell, even the Babylonian, they was doing a hell of a lot better than this. Yep. At least they didn't kill the earth. Yep. Come on now, well, they're not going to kill the earth. They, they, they're just damaging it, all right, because trees can't be trees no more. Hell, animal frogs can't be uh, male and female anymore. Yep. But, I mean, so these... This shit vexes you. This is low level <laughs> shit. Man. This is some it low really level is. ass shit, bro. Yep. And it's always about sex. Yep. It's always about sex. Yep. Hell, they're saying that lions are, you know, fucking dry humping each other and shit. <laughs> so like it. Go back God. to it, bro. It says Sirach 43 and 30. When you glorify your how about Shimmy was shy, exalt him as much as he can. For even yet he will far exceed. He will far exceed. Continue. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength, 
and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. That means don't doubt. Don't doubt. Don't have a mindset of, oh, well, uh, he, did, he didn't do this at this moment, so you know, it's just not going to happen. No. Faith means that you are hoping and that you are praying and that you are waiting. Patience, affliction, and adversity. As you're going through your adversity, you're going to be afflicted. Okay, but yeah, how about Shimei Al Shai will deliver you at the last thing and you ain't even, you won't even see it coming until it comes. Hmm. Okay? You wanna keep going on this? Uh nah, um uh one more. Pull that um uh uh Ecclesiasticus uh fifty one and two. I, I proceed. I see the two or one. You can start at one with the points in two. Sirach chapter fifty one and verse one. It says, I will thank thee. O Lord and King, and praise thee, um, O Yahweh Bashem Shai, my Savior, I do give praise unto thy name. And and Baba Kushai, just to say, this is Ecclesiastes, or Sirach, putting forth all his strength to give praise to Yahweh Bashem Shai. So, you know, mm, put that mm in it, Baba Kushai. Verse 2, it says, For thou art my defender and helper, and hast preserved my body from destruction. And from the snare of the slanderous tongue, and from the lips that forge lies, and has been my helper against mine adversary. So that's Esau, you know, the the adversary, the lips that forge lies. How about Shemuel Shai is preserving us from our enemy, you know, Esau Edom, you know, right? because he he is doing everything in his power to keep us down, to keep us not from knowing who our power is, all right. But he has preserved us. Through through uh, lifetimes, through generations, all right, to get to the point to where we get to see the downfall of our enemy, enemies, as it says in Ecclesiastes chapter twenty-five, verse uh, seven. Okay, he has done all. Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai has done all these things. Okay, so like you can continue. Oh, okay, verse three, it says, "And has delivered me according to the multitude of thy mercy, of thy mercies, and greatness of thy name." from the teeth of them that were ready to devour me and out of the hands of such as sought after my life. So everybody seeks after the lives of you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. They want to do something detrimental to you and take you off the earth. But Yahweh Shimei Al-Shai made a promise and his his word does not go out void. Okay? But hey, it's like it. <laughs> That's all I got. You know, Yahweh Shimei Al-Shai is going to be there He's going to stand up. He's going to deliver the elect, you know, from the hell and the bullshit that's all around us, you know, from from them trying to change genders. And, you know, there's going to be a select group that's going to stand up and say no, all right, because it is against the law, statutes, and commandments and everything this nigga doing, all right? So, so like, you got it. You can, you can close us out, all right? No, I'm not. That was on my head. All right, Con, so... With that, hey, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles at Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to all the Akimites on the four corners, teaching the truth and sincerity. The water, Shalom, and Shalom. Shalom, Akim.